The normal CDF function on the TI calculator allows you to find the area between two points on the normal curve. To find it, turn your calculator on and go to second vars. Scroll down to normal CDF. From here, you will need to enter your starting point, which on this graphic is negative one. Next, you will need to put in a comma and put in your end point. From here, we can put in the mean and standard deviation, but by default, the calculator will use zero and one. For now, let's put them in. As you can see, the amount displayed on the calculator matches perfectly to the amount displayed on the curve. Test scores are normally distributed with a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 8. We want to find the percent of students who scored between a 70 and 85. This time under normal CDF, we need to enter in the start point of 70. Next, we need to enter in the end point of 85. We are not using the standard normal here, so we will need to enter in the mean of 80 next and the standard deviation of 8. As you can see, the area we get of 62.84 matches exactly to the applet picture on the left. You can use the normal CDF to find the area above or below a point. Go back to the normal CDF under second vars. Now, our start point here is 90. We want to find the scores above 90. There is technically no endpoint, so we can put in a very large number, which is many standard deviations away from the mean. Next, we need to put in the mean and the standard deviation. As you'll notice, we have found the area between 90 and 999, and the results exactly match the applet on the left. The same process can be used to find the area below a point. We need to go back to the normal CDF, and this time, we want to start with a very low point, like negative 999, and go all the way up to 90 on the curve, and then put in our mean and standard deviation. The important thing to remember is that the order is start point, end point, mean, standard deviation, all separated by commas, and this will graph for you the area between those two points.